again and today dad is going to take us to fun world yippee tomorrow i'm going to tell all my friends in school about this trip and all the fun we have i have studied the harappan civilization in history and i'm actually going to see all of it now yay what is this harappan world the harappan world you see here is a replica of a city in the harappan civilization which existed in the indus valley isn't that the indus valley civilization yes it is however the indus valley civilization is also known as the harappan civilization how is that so since harappa was the first city to be discovered in this civilization the cities discovered later came to be known as the harappan civilization also harappa and mohenjo-daro were the two most big cities in this civilization how and when were these cities discovered About 150 years ago when railway lines were being laid down for the first time at Punjab in Pakistan engineers came across the site of Harappa But kids you must know that this discovery not only went unnoticed but was also exploited Yeah my teacher said that the bricks from Harappa were robbed and used to build houses and the railway line and in the process the upper layers of the site were almost destroyed That's right now kids let's move ahead and enjoy the rest of it Look a swimming pool they actually existed several thousand years ago That's not a swimming pool, JC. It's the Great Bath. Great Bath? Now what is that? The Great Bath was a very special water tank built in Mohenjo-daro. Its architecture is superb. Can you see this line of bricks? It was coated with gypsum plaster and made watertight with a thick layer of bitumen. which is a natural tar It is also known for its structure If you look closely you will see steps leading down to it from two sides You will also see that there are rooms on all sides Hmm so dad was the great bath a common bathing place for people No it wasn't like any other bathing place it was perhaps used by important people to take a dip on special occasions Hey children are you all enjoying your visit to the Harappan world Yes very much not only are we enjoying but also learning a lot of new things That is nice would you want to come along I can show you some special features of the Harappan cities Come on let's go with Mr Guide Look at this structure carefully children Can you notice anything different One thing that I can clearly see is that the leveling is not the same. One area is higher while the other side is lower. Good observation. This is indeed a special feature of the Harappan cities. The Harappan cities are usually divided into two or more parts. The part to the west was usually smaller but higher. This is known as the citadel. I remember my teacher explaining this. and the part to the east was usually larger but lower this was called the lower town correct the citadel was also known as a fort or an administrative block the ruling classes might have stayed here the citadel had massive walls which provided protection against the floods of the indus river and what about the lower town the lower town was inhabited by petty merchants and craftsmen Was there anything special in the lower town? Yes. It was divided into rectangular blocks. 
there were wide roads between the blocks. The drainage system is praiseworthy and provision was made for street lighting. That reminds me. My teacher had also mentioned that the Great Bath was built on the Citadel. Absolutely right. You children are intelligent and also quick learners. Thank you. And children, always remember the importance of heritage structures. Don't spoil, litter or damage any old structures you visit. Surely. In fact, we'll make sure that our friends learn this too. For all the interest you showed, here's a gift for you all. <laughs>